Hello, everyone. What I want to do is problem 336S from the book. So this was a former exam FM problem. It's actually a pretty quick problem, uh, but um, still, just to make sure uh, we're all on the same page, I'll do this problem. And this is uh, going to be on for summer uh, 2022. This is going to be problem two for homework nine, the last homework. Okay, so John borrows 1,000 for 10 years at an effective annual interest rate of 10%. He can repay this loan using the amortization method with payments of P at the end of each year. All that means is he just repays his loan like he would normally would, kind of the normal way, constant payments of P at the end of each year. Okay. Instead, John repays the 1,000 using a sinking fund that pays an uh, annual effective rate of 14%. Deposits to the sinking fund are equal to P minus the interest on the loan and are made at the end of each year for 10 years. Determine a balance in the sinking fund immediately after the repayment of the loan. Okay. So one thing I want to make clear for this problem is that you just can't use your plug and chug formula for uh, payments to uh, your sinking fund to pay off the loan. That formula is to determine precisely the exact payments that you need to precisely pay off the loan. This is different. Pay off the loan using the sinking fund method. This is different. And of course, when I say payments, to be clear, we mean both interest and deposits towards the sinking fund. Uh, the total payments, uh, we consider the addition of both, the sum of both, rather. Here, this is different. Here, we're actually, they're basically, the problem is telling you what the payments are. There's no formula for the payments. This problem is telling you what the payments are. It's this P, which has nothing to do with anything sinking loans, minus interest each year on the loan. Okay? So we got to figure out what P is, got to figure out what the interest uh, each year on the loan is, which is, that's obvious, it's $100, 10% 10 of 1,000. Accumulate that and then figure out how much uh, more than 1,000 we have. Remember the sinking fund for all these you know, variations of problems, the whole point of a sinking fund is you're simply accumulating money to pay off the principal at the end of, in this case, 10 years. Okay, so, uh, right, if that was a little fuzzy, then let's do the problem. Okay. Uh, second. All right, so. Uh, All right. Um, right. So let's figure out what P, what, what P is first. So John pays uh, off this loan, uh, $1,000, 10 years, at an interest rate of 10%. And as we said, this this all this means is that you're paying off this loan normally with payments of P at the end of each year. Okay. So it's a ten, it's a one thousand dollar loan. Okay, so payments are P again, normal normal way of paying off a loan. That's all this means. The amortization, um, amortization method. Right. Uh, ten years at uh, ten. Percent, I think it's ten percent. Yes, yes, ten percent. Okay, so uh, let's figure out what this is. And loan, so um, payments are at the end of each year. And n ten percent interest. One thousand present value compute payments. We get. Um, P is second. Um, 
Okay. That. All right. P is uh one hundred sixty two dollars and roughly seventy five cents. So one sixty two seven four five. Uh, seven four five three nine. Okay, so um, again, what's the interest each year on the loan? Uh, if you don't ever pay off a uh, principal, but you just pay off uh, interest, then that's just each year ten percent of a thousand. Which is just a hundred dollars. Okay. okay, so right. So how much are we uh making for a sinking deposit? A uh, sinking fund deposits rather. The sinking fund deposits. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, well, it's given by uh, the problem. Again, it's uh, right here. It's P minus the interest on the loan. And with, as I uh, mentioned probably in other videos, um, other examples, in all these seeking fund problems, the point is you're always making payments uh, of interest at the end of each year. You just never touch principal and you're making deposits into the sinking fund to uh, finally accumulate to the um, principal at the end of 10 years. Okay, okay so... Um, Right, 1,000 times 1, oh, is 100. So this is just going to be, uh, well, subtract off 100, and you get uh, 62.745. Uh, sorry, this should be a 3, 9 here. 0.7453. Okay, so these are my sinking fund sinking fund deposits. So let's get the accumulated value at the end of the 10 years into my sinking fund. Okay, well, we're making deposits of this amount. I have it saved on a calculator, so it'll make my life a little easier. Okay. We're making these deposits at the end of each year for 10 years at this um, probably you know, kind of fantastical uh, interest rates. You know, good luck getting 14%, but whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, 0.14. So let's figure out what that is. So clear TVM. So this is my payment, 10 and um, 14 interest, compute future value. Okay, so it's $1,213.33 is how much is in the sinking fund at the end of 10 years. But what is the problem asking you for? It's how much is in the sinking fund immediately after repaying the loan. Repaying the loan, again, means that um, we're paying off the principal. The end of each year, we're paying off interest of 100, but we're making these deposits into this account of $62 and uh, roughly 75 cents to try to accumulate to pay off the uh, principal. Okay. And we have a little extra here. We get more than a thousand. So subtract off a thousand, 
And the answer, uh, oh, sorry. So the AV in a sinking fund is 1,000 to 13 um, and uh, 33 cents. Okay, so my answer is tracked off 1,000 to 13, 33. So the homework problem is basically the same thing, except by design, you're going to have too little in the sinking fund. You're not going to have enough in the sinking fund. So we're gonna, I'm asking you for how much additional money do you need to pay off the loan. Okay. All right, so uh, yeah, if you understand this problem, it's pretty quick. Um, could have done this a lot faster without explaining everything, but um, all right, so hopefully this made sense. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, only a few more days. Um, I'll actually probably, uh, well, I'll put up homework nine today. Um, and uh, yeah, um, Remember, the exam is going to be due Monday, and homework nine will be due Friday. Homework uh, eight is due today, July 26th. So almost done. All right, so long. Take care. Bye-bye.